Barney. You there? Barney? Aiden. You there? Yeah. I'm just oh. trying to reach your brother. Okay. Barney what the fuck is going on? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. What? A whole lot of random shit just happened. He was supposed oh, to. Oh, fuck me. I didn't trust you. Oh, God fucking damn. He God fucking damn. You wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Alright, back to the bazaar we go. Trying not to fucking utterly die. Um, hey, Puto, my friend and I were wondering what it was like to ride a bull. I have never and will never in my life ride a bull, my friend. That is, a uh, not, not, <laughs> that's not me. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? You got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckward Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. Oh, shit. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim. And they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me. That it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you. So go bother her. Alright, I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Looking for work by any chance? Everything would have you and me. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. 
He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. Uh, it seems after the commander was murdered, this things got out. complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Alrighty. Okay. Got a gig to finish okay, what's, tomorrow. And what's this dude? One's I'm been Dave. fucking bugging me the whole time. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that Look. outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. <laughs> Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> don't keep them waiting. This dude's kind of a fucking asshat, dude. I don't like him. Seriously, there's no time for delay. Uh, yeah, it's probably the 
last mission I'll ever do. Respectful around here. This used to be a holy place. Looks like no more water this week. Mm. Aiden, takes pity and gives something's up. Pain. Susie, you there? Sophie, we're under attack. What? Susie, what's going on? It was a trap. Run. Aiden. Fuck. Susie, run. That's yeah, Aiden. Aiden. I've just been hurry. offered an extremely off shady deal. Everything we have. Maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out. Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know, we're careful people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Didn't you hear what I said? Get downstairs. I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job, then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well-known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well-known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, wait what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. Let's haul him in, boys. Okay, okay. Come for you! I've got Hold still! Let's play! You want some of this? I don't even have time to fucking heal. Like, how the fuck am I? Okay, dude, that's crazy. The fuck's it doing? Oh, you're fucking shitting me, dude. Hello? Anybody there? Yeah. Didn't you hear what I said? Get down. Oh my god, it's fucking stupid, dude. 
Herr Maiden. Just fuck them up. Oh shit. Alright, take all this fucking loot. Let's go. Um. Poto my cat came home today very happy about the petting session you gave him. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. What am I doing, dude? What did I pick? Okay. Well, I do need to heal just very slightly. How did not you die? Oh, you asshole. You set me up. What? No, no, no. I, I swear, I, I would never. I, I was just doing my job. <laughs> scouting. It's my job. Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden. You gotta believe me. Please. They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? What have you done, Damien? I didn't know. At first. But I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me. They have my brother. Your brother? I talk fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played. And I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? 
You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? <sighs> All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. Shit just happened, huh? Get the fuck out of here. Where the fuck would his brother be? I'm confused. Not here. Oh, shit, I not mean it. No signs of Cliff here. Damn it. You don't think they... He's not... He's not dead. Is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it. This is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? Yeah, that's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. Where did you last see him? We were in East Quarry and close to Devil's Bridge when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since... I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it. But then, times changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. Now it's full of bandits. I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge. Aiden, you serious? You do that for me? Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. I don't. I'm not trying to be that big of a uh, dick, man. Maybe. Uh, I'm sure he's still alive. I wish I could choose my dialogue more in a detailed manner, because I just feel like an asshole the whole time. So that's all the way over here, and okay, okay, I don't know if I feel like doing that quite right now. It's a side quest. Um, let's do this one real quick if we can.
Damn. See bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it. I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all. All right, I can do that. I can fucking do that. Let's do it. I do it. I go. Shit. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, I gotta regroup here. Cause that, uh, that kinda just fucked me. Look alive, assholes! Fuck, man. God damn. I gotta be a little more strategic with this. Kill the fucker! Choke on it, you fucker! Take die now! Give this a try! We got your ass now! Oh, this is the best strategy you can fucking do, bro. They do fall damage and fucking melee damage, bro. That's crazy. Fuck you, dude. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I got such a great angle right now. <laughs> I made it. There are no survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Oh, fuck! Oh, no. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, fucking... What? The goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. You got me fucked up, cuz. I need to spear this giant fucking Moby dick of a zombie. Let's go. A little Tarzan going here. Where are you at, boy? Did that fucking miss? Are you serious? This 
everybody have a fucking zombie on them? <laughs> fucking god, dude. <sighs> My... I'm gonna break like three weapons just killing all of these zombies. I'm just gonna lose all my fucking weapons. Come this way, fuckers. Come this way. down to three bodies. Fuck. Should have speared one of those gas tanks. Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right, enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. Appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. What? Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Can you hear Good. Me? Gain her trust. Let my daughter help that? us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ator will let us into the center.
Where's Sophie? <sighs> hey, why weren't you on the mission? Friends could have used you. <clears throat> o okay. Uh, I guess that means I should wait here. Mia? Aiden, what's the matter with you? Mia, where are you? Mia? Oh, no. No, no, no. Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water, and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. That's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. He's been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, He's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho, and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Uh, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass, but we'll do something good for the city one day. Bertie, to your health! Was I actually able to make it there on time? Is that like, or am I being trolled? I gather you were close with Bertie. Like, he tried to be a poet, 
There's no way I could have actually made it there on time, too right? stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was 10 years old. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear, I'll gut them. Real slow. Peace. What, what Peace. encounter did I fail? How the Everyone fuck am I failing safe. random encounters? And Birdie. To our crew. Encounter failed. What? What encounter did I fail? <sighs> okay, dude. I talk to the individual who has a quest for me? Quest? 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 I guess not. Fuck you. Heard everything. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First, Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They 
they know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Go help Sophie, but be careful, Aiden. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim. <sighs> Go help Sophie, but be careful, Aiden. Are you fucking kidding me? You're absolutely shitting me. How fucking stupid is that? Are you fucking- that jump killed me? This fucking jump right here killed me? You're fucking- this- this right here. Oh my fucking hell, bro. And of course that almost kills me, okay. That's cool. Looks like Sophie's not here. I, I, I better look for her. Aren't you must stressed be out over what the Pilgrim and did. Barney? Me likey. But Barney and the Pilgrim flows better. I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. But you can wait here with us. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? You take care of Barney today. That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. <clears throat> Herman, it's better for the world when you're quiet. Yeah, have you seen Sophie? I'm, I'm looking for her. Ah, oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. Sorry, but I don't like drinking straight from the bottle. Ooh, the exalted count asks for a glass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook. Can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling it music? Hey, you mangy pricks. Say your prayers. Barney's coming. And he's gonna kick your dairy ears. <laughs> I'll rip out your brains. One thing. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. She said the. Uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with uh, uh, not working with the. Uh, it's broken. That. Uh, oh. 
Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm <laughs> asking because fucking I'm curious. Hilarious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your hell! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her, to the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. 
After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. Okay, then. I'm not gonna let some morons in the tower ruin our lives like this. Wait, is that thing still down there? There will be blood. Why is it saying I can get like a quest or something? Inhibitor container detected. <laughs> yeah, that might only be a night mission. It's definitely a night mission. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that right now. to lurk or help apparently the peacekeepers are watching us well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe and that we can do it to them too well you said it was time to act we're acting I sent three scouts towards the camp Ugh. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building well shit okay yeah, um Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Change of plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. I've got fuck all on this side.
plate blows. Is this doing anyone any good? Fucking god, dude. So stupid.
Ready for this? This should be fun. Try this, asshole! Hey there, jackass! Head, dirty! Oh my fuck. <laughs> Oh, damn! What the fuck? I just slapped him into fucking spikes, dude. <laughs> that was the easiest slay I have ever seen, dude. Alright, let's claim this fucking thing. I just straight slapped that motherfucker in a wall. <laughs> Attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. <laughs> no way this is still going on. Sophie? Dude, I've been streaming Sophie? for 13 hours. You have to help the maiden. 13 hours and 30 minutes. I have been streaming. I am. I, I can't believe I'm still streaming too, man. <laughs> Where's Jack and Joe? They fled the camp as soon as they heard the sound of fighting. I don't know what they're planning. They said they were waiting on backup. What backup? I don't know exactly. Joe was talking about the renegades. Remnants of the old army. Stationed on the dam across town. Lately, they've been spotted at the bazaar. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. I'm glad you showed up. Well, shit. It's a cool little spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I'm a little tired, but I'm not extremely tired. I feel... I feel relatively fine, I suppose. You just wake up, my man? He probably went to sleep when I was <laughs> streaming and he woke up. You're like, what the fuck? Go to Tango Motel. Right. <coughs> okay, what did I just get myself into? I don't know. I'm gonna go this way. Excuse me, pardon me. Inhibitor container detected. Aiden, I heard 
some noise is coming from Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Dude, Fuck. I passed Remember out, got up, and did all kinds of stuff around the house, and I finally checked my phone, and you're still going. Oh, that's Don't hilarious. Get involved in this. What Go the back fuck? to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor. And maybe you Yeah, I don't know back. how long I'm gonna keep it up, man. I don't know. I might keep it for twenty four, I don't know. <laughs> You're right. I'll head to the metro station. Smart decision. I'll be in touch. I have no idea what decision I really just made. I just knew I had limited time to do it, so, um, fuck. I don't even think there's a way to... There might be, right? I think there has to be, to options, on menu, quit, no. Fuck, dude, that was a, that was a hell of a decision to make in that amount of time. It really was. Okay, I feel like I made the right one. Come on, can we? There we go. Oh, fuck, I fucked up. mouse sensitivity dude just flicks flicks everywhere it's just so fast it just makes you fucking there we You got any plans for today, Rexy? Got any uh, got any big moves you doing? Try not to utterly die going down this fucking thing.
Change anything? Add two and two together and see what you get. You're frowning again. You hear? Good. I didn't go to the motel. You were right. There was something fishy about it. Yeah, it looks like you were getting close to the truth. Either they killed Lucas, or they know who did. We'll force them to talk. How will you do that? By taking control of the water tower. Jack and Joe took off somewhere. Only stragglers left in the tower at best. This is the only source of water in the area. And whoever controls the water, controls old Villador. So you'll take it by force? I could. With the bandits gone, the bazaar will station guards at the tower. At the first sight of the PK, there'll be an immediate clash of forces. <sighs> well, I don't want to give them an excuse for war. However, if someone took over the tower quietly, it would be a fait accompli. So you want me to sneak in there? Yes, and disarm the charges left by Jack and Joe. Take out whoever's left up there. But be careful. The tower's the tallest structure in the area. The only way up was cut off. I can try. Seems like the only option right now. All right. Go for it. If you pull it off will gain massive leverage for the bazaar to tell us who the killer was. It's a very tall tower. Oh, I don't know if I made the right decision. I really don't know. to save us. I hate it when I get through an entire patrol without taking on an infected. Um, gotta deposit a few checks and get some groceries and come back on the box. I feel that. Hell yeah, man. Um, I'll probably still be on by the time you get on, so. Fuck. <laughs> Hell, I might run and get some good trees today, too, man. Aiden, what's the status? It looks like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Ada wants to take control of the water and force the bizarre folk to talk. So this is how he's looking into Lucas's murder. He's not such an idiot after all. But watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown, but he's dangerous. I doubt he'd just run off like that. <sighs> That's taller than I thought. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come the fuck on, man. Here we go. Here we go. Got a Later. rush in here, man. Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Fuck. You can't let that happen. The tower's mined. Try and disarm the charges. Fast. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me at all. <laughs> yeah, this is probably the long. Uh, I don't know if it's the longest I've ever been up. This game is definitely addicting, man. It's it's a it's, uh, it's a fun game. Oh my fucking god, dude. Are you fucking me? Later. I Jack near. and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Fuck. You can't let that happen. The tower's mined. Try and disarm the charges. Fast. I go to bust through the door. And then, apparently, I can just walk through the fucking door, even though it's fucking boarded up. I just walk through it and then accidentally mail. Okay. That was like the dumbest thing that's ever happened. In no sense. Oh, I'm surprised Winsty isn't in here. She's been popping in here and there. She was in here a minute ago, but, uh. Yeah, she's been stopping by. She she had the same reaction you did. She was like, "What the fuck are you still doing awake right now?" <laughs> She's like, "This is insane." Where do I go? Where do I go? Uh... Come the fuck on, no way. How does this fucking happen, dude? How the fuck? How does stupid shit like this just fucking happen? Oh my god, I almost died. Well, uh, no way I could stream that long unless it was Game Beast. Game, uh, game was rolling in viewers for me. Fuck yeah, um, I'll have to try the game actually, Game Beast. I've heard a lot about it, but I've never actually tried it at all. Is 
This was the dumbest shit, dude. I go through a window and then it automatically throws me out the fucking window. So, like. It's crazy, man. Okay. Fucking kill me already. Jesus fucking Christ. to like tap 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 so stupid but hilarious I never played it until Saintsy talked me into it of course the fuck is up either the bizarre jack holes or the PK they'll be on us the moment we come down from here buddy fuck we lost it man we lost it yeah see I'm <laughs> I feel like Saintsy plays a lot of weird games just on the side I've once seen him play this weird anime game I don't know. If I remember exactly what it was called, we'd grind Stop. that every day. Or we'll blow the goddamn tower! I swear. I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over, and to leave the city safely. I help me, and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. It's basically a cartoon game and the physics are Joey. weird and you practically try to knock Joe. people off the map to hey. win. Isn't uh, that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? I think the only game Maybe. I've played that's cartoonish pilgrim like that is Brahalla. I, so I used to play Brahalla a little bit, it? but if he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone. I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once. Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker, gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Luke is wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim, to the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I don't bargain with extortionists and murderers. Well now, look at the saint. The pilgrim wants to preach to us. Oh, you fucking fool. Do it, Jack. Now. Goodbye, Bazaar. What? What happened? Your toys don't work? You. You did this? You pay for that. <sighs> Never 
killed a pilgrim before. Want some water? You'll die, pilgrim. It's a long way down for you. Fuck me, man. How many fucking hits do these guys take? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. They don't fucking die. They're not that fucking overpowered. It's a long way down for you. Oh my fucking god. You die, pilgrim. I'll hang you from the water. A Fuck me, man. Oh, what a fucking freak. I don't do any damage. I do no damage. Zero. Zero fucking damage at this point, alright? Can I do You got nowhere to run! You won't take us. It's a long Fuck it. Fuck it. Down for you. Take us alive. We'll hang you from the tower. Want some water? I'll drown you in it. You'll die, pilgrim. It's a lot. Never killed a pilgrim before! Oh my fucking god, dude! This fucking game, bro. I'm getting so fucking annoyed right now, dude. I don't know, on godly fucking scale, I'm annoyed. Oh my fucking god, dude. I keep fucking up my block. Jesus fuck dude, how do I keep messing that up? What the fuck? I'm about to do and I can't fucking heal because it takes ten fucking seconds to heal. Watch, I'm fucked, I'm dead. How do you heal? How do you heal? Fuck this game man. Fucking piece of shit. And he just fucking he just caught he just runs his fucking cock right through my goddamn axe like it's nothing. You won't take us alive. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. You won't take us alive. It's a long way down for you. 
This is fucking stupid. You got nowhere to run. I cannot get this fucking timing right, dude. I don't under fucking stand. Fucking just kill me, dude. Just fucking kill me. Never killed a pilgrim before. It's like you fuck up one block and you're just you're fucked. You're just fucked. I can do a million of these amazing little fucking kicks, but there we go. One hit, I'm fucked. Fucking cracked, dude. You won't take us alive. Regretting coming. You'll die, Pip. Oh my god, dude. Fuck you and your fucking bullshit. Fucking god damn it, dude. I heal and it doesn't do shit. Fucking god damn it. I can't fucking heal. I'm dead. I'm, 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 I'm. Oh my fucking god. Let me fucking heal. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my fucking god, dude. Fucking. Oh my fuck. This is stupid. This is insane. This is fucking god tier f Oh my Get fucking off. god, dude. You got nowhere to run. I'm triggered. I'm fucking before. triggered. My what the fuck? I can't heal. I can't fucking heal. Healing is impossible, dude. Oh, okay. I'm glad my fucking block does absolutely nothing. You won't. Just oh my fuck, and I. I'm fucking my fucking god. Want some? Don't die, pilgrim. You won't. You got nowhere to run. You'll die. Fucking done, dude. Jesus, fucking help me right now. Never kill the pilgrim. Can my fucking game? Like, what the fuck? You got nowhere to run. Just Put fucking kill water. me. No, no. There we go. There we go. Encounter, what fucking encounter failed? What, uh, what encounter did I fucking fail in the, okay dude, I'm just, that's cool, that's cool, just. This game dude, this is fucking stupid. How are they both boss fights? How is this a boss fight? Why is this a boss fight? Two random fucking dipshits in a water tower, it's a fucking boss fight. This guy just fucking eats everything I throw at him. He's a fucking random fucking. Okay, dude. Imagine being able to heal. Imagine if that was a thing. Never killed a pilgrim before. You got nowhere to run. You got nowhere to run. Fuck me. Never kill him. <laughs> we'll hang you from the tower. <laughs> oh 
Oh my fucking bullshit, dude. I did the fucking kick. This is fucking stupid. Want some water? You got nowhere to run. You'll die, pilgrim. You won't take us alive. Never killed a pilgrim before. I am trying so fucking hard right now, and I bet I'm gonna get. My fucking god, dude! Oh my fucking. Okay, yep, that's cool, dude. That's you're just fucking god here. Never killed a pilgrim before. Fuck, man. It's a long way down for you. You got nowhere to run. How am I still alive? You won't take us alive. <sighs> Want some water? Can't take any damage. If I take damage, I'm fucked. Cause I can't. I don't. I, there's no possibility, no possible chance for me to fucking heal. We'll hang you from the tower. <laughs> fucking bitch, dude. You won't take. Want some water? You'll die! Never killed a pilgrim before! Okay, I think I found a strategy here that I'm gonna... Okay, okay, I found out how to beat these two. Finally. You got nowhere to run. Never killed a pilgrim before. You'll die, pilgrim. You won't take us alive. Jesus fuck, dude. Why is my block not working? What am I doing, dude? What am I doing? It's a long way down for you. You won't take us alive. I'm a fucking freak. Oh my god. Do the fucking kick. You got nowhere to run. Want some water? I'll drown you in it. You'll die, 
pin of my f That's cool. It's dude. a long way down for you. Fucking bullshit, man. Never killed a pilgrim before. I'm clicking the fucking keys to do this stupid fucking kick. And it ain't doing shit. Fuck this game. Alright, let's heal. Let's heal, guys. Let's fucking. No, you can't fucking heal. Nope, healing. Fucking impossible. The fuck is my dude doing, bro? You won't. You'll die. Want some water? You'll die. God fucking damn it, man. Fucking asshole. Let me heal, dude. Oh my god. And it doesn't fucking matter because it just lunges across the whole fucking room. Fucking mother. Fucking dick, dude. I can't fucking block this guy. It's impossible. You won't take us alive. My fucking god, dude. I'm about to just uninstall this game at this point. It's not even fucking worth it. Here, I thought we could get along. He just runs through it and everything. Okay, dude. Fuck that. It literally had me jump over him to do the stupid fucking kick. Do the fucking. Oh my god. You literally have to be completely perfect at this game to beat this fucking fight. I don't understand. You have to be on crack. You won't take us alive. And. Okay. Okay. Want some water? Okay, that's cool. I'll hang you from the town. Fucking motherfucker. You die, Bill. It's a long way down. I missed three. You won't take us alive. Do some stupid bullshit, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? I'll drown you in it. Never kill a pill before. What the fuck? Such fucking horseshit, man. You got nowhere to run. It's a long way down for you. Never kill. You got nowhere to run. You can't block that fucking guy. You can't. It is impossible to block that motherfucker. He just runs through everything you fucking possibly do.
It's a long way down for you. God fucking damn it, dude. There's no point blocking him. There's no point. We'll hang you from the tower. You got nowhere to run. You won't take us alive. You got nowhere to run. Die, pilgrim. We'll hang you from the tower. You won't take us alive. Can I just heal, dude? Can I just fucking heal for fuck's sake? Just heal. Just let me heal. Okay. It's a long way down for you. Can't do this, bro. Can't fucking do this. Fucking god. He just cock blocks my kick. I just can't fucking do here we go. I can't fucking heal either, dude. Fuck you, mother. What the fuck is going on, dude? Oh my Jesus fucking god. You won't take us alive. I don't know, dude. I'm Want some water? I'll drown you in You won't take us alive. Impossible. It, it, it's fucking impossible. Fucking Christ, dude. We'll hang you from the tower. It's a long way down for you. You'll die, pilgrim. You got once. You won't take us alive. <laughs> Fucking god damn it, man. Want some water? You won't take us alive. <laughs> Fucking mother. Fucking mother. I'm done. No. Off this fucking piece of shit game. Fuck it. No. Fucking no. is in my...